Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much. One of the things that I need to get out of the way is uh, since last time I posted, I went over a thousand subscribers. So I'm so excited to uh, just bring another video to you guys. And it's been a while. I've started graduate school. Uh, I also have two babies under two. So there's a lot on the plate, but I was able to uh, do this bed and show you guys how I build it. So I'm building this bed for my son. So he's been on a crib. Uh, he just turned two and so we decided instead of buying a full size bed we we're just gonna transition him into a full size because that's why we had so i had some alder on hand and because of that i went ahead and i decided to build it out of alder plywood so that i can use all the it's not scrap because they were full size uh, pieces of lumber but i wanted to use it so here you've seen me cut plywood uh, i'm cutting the sides uh right now i think i also cut the the footboard and the headboard, again, everything made out of alder plywood. So if you're new here, thank you very much for coming and watching. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I love to read those and respond with the little knowledge that I have about woodworking. Here's my dog, Mocha. Hey, Mocha. Good dog. So I went ahead and I started cutting all the sides again. I'm cutting the, the sides of the bed, the headboard and the footboard, uh, all out of plywood. And the idea here was to trim the plywood with the nutty alder. You can see right here on uh, top left, you can see that four quarter alder. I'm starting to cut that, I believe, inch and a half. The idea was to have a three quarter reveal and this will make sense as you watch the video um, but again i had this on hand so i wanted to use it the original plan for the bed had a cross member on the top uh, at the peak of the house if you will but i ended up running out of wood so i decided to leave it without it uh, so here's what i'm talking about the assemblies for the i believe this is the footboard it was supply wood and then the three quarter inch um, alder and that made it a nice design so flush on the back and then it had a three quarter inch reveal on the front lots of clamps to make sure that everything was as even as possible Now the buzzing you hear in the background is the CNC. <laughs> I had the CNC running this whole time. Uh, so part of that, I'll try to turn the volume down a little bit more. But uh, I wised up a little bit and I started using the Brat Neller. I just thought it was gonna be faster than using all the clamps, so. I'm using some eight quarter alder that I had on hand from a previous project to essentially create two by four. So uh, the dimension that I'm going here is inch and a half by three and a half. Uh, and that's how I drew the plans on SketchUp. And like I said, I thought I was gonna have enough for every, I was missing one piece. So instead of me going back and buying more alder, I just left the design as is. Uh, so I embrace everything. You see the bark here or the, the the divots, you know, I, I just embrace that because this is the lumber that I had. I'm starting to dimension to three and a half wide.
And then I went back to the planer to get everything to inch and a half thick. And you can see the CNC running in the back just for funds. Now it pays to have good friends who have good tools. Uh, this is actually a friend of mine who let me borrow his Festool. I've never used one in the sense of having one in my shop. So he let me use it so I can try it out and, and they're nice. Uh, they're very expensive too. Anyway, so here I'm starting to add a, a ledge, I guess, to or support to the sides. And this will make sense later on. This is where the boards uh, are going to rest. So I added glue, brat nails, and then I went back and added, uh, I think, two inch screws. Just because here's where all the weight is going to be resting. So I want it to be really strong. Every I think every 12 inches I added a screw. And it was plenty strong with the glue and the reinforcements. Alrighty, so uh, now that I have all the sides, the headboard and the footboard ready, I started to basically create assemblies. Uh, obviously with a bed being such a big thing, the plan was to create uh, four assemblies, you know, the, the header assembly, the footer assembly and the two sides. So this right here is the footer, this is thinner. So I just decided to go with Dominus because I mean, come on, why not? Great alignment, great strength, made things go very easy. Now, I think you can better see the design here, you know, on the back, which is uh, flush and on the front, it has three quarters of, uh, of a reveal, which added a nice uh, detail, I think. Here's the, one of the assemblies. So hopefully that makes sense to you. And then I went ahead and did the second one. I'll spare you all the details just to, uh, time lapse here. And there we go. That's what it looked like. So my dad came into town. So the voices you hear in the background, maybe uh, it's me talking to my dad in Spanish. But I started to lay down the hardware, and this will make sense as you see it. Uh, I just took some careful measurements to uh, attach this piece to the, to the sides of the bed. I started using the CA glue trick, which I put a little bit of CA glue to hold things, but I realized having my dad there that I didn't need it. I mean, he was able to hold it while I was pre-drilling or the other way. But if you don't have help, uh, CA glue is such a good trick to attach things for a little bit while you, you do your pre-drilling and your screwing. Now the other th trick here is I only put two screws instead of four. Why? Because I'm going to have to stay take everything off to sand and finish. So I just added two for alignment for now and then when I do final assembly I'll add all four. And here's how the hardware works. That goes in I mean it's pretty standard so I went ahead and now that I have the sides ready I added it to the footboard and headboard again here I only added two screws just to align things at first then having my dad in town I asked him to help me sand everything while he was doing some of the sanding work I started working on that middle support which I just used some scrap three quarter inch plywood to basically create a inch and a half by inch and a half square. This will make sense again as you watch it. It's basically a center support with two feet to distribute the weight. I mean, my son doesn't weigh anything, but uh, obviously as he grows, we want the bed to not sag and be really strong. Usually I would have uh, taken everything down to do this, but again, since my dad was there, I just thought it was easier to bring the tool to the, to the piece. And I just added some more dominoes to finish the bed. It's 
starting to cut those uh, footers, those foots, if you will. And since my dad was in town, I was using my, you know, my camera skills to get some dynamic shots. I do envy those who have a uh, cameraman, man. It just gives the video such a different feel when you have someone holding the camera. But anyway, you can see right here the, the center support. And here's one thing that I wish I would have done differently. I decided to do pocket holes for, you know, attaching and removing this because this piece is not attached permanently. Just later on, I actually added like an L bracket just to support those pocket holes. But uh, again, that was not the best choice. Right here, when, when I'm dealing with angles, uh, I'm not that great at math. So I usually like to lay things out uh, as, as real as I can. So what I did there is I marked the, the overall span of the bed, like the center point. And then from the center point, I just eyeball my pieces. And then that's, you know, you see me cut the angles right here. And then I went to the miter saw and cut the other angle. Here I'm adding some dominoes to the to the peaks so that I can do an easy uh, you know, glue up for those two pieces. This will be part of the assembly. And again, you'll see it as we continue. Now, one trick that I've never used that I was very surprised that actually works is again, CA glue to uh, you know clamps on angles. So I added that CA glue there and put some, some glue, some dominoes, and then the clamps. And it's perfect. You see how nice of a glue line I get with just one clamp. It's a very cool trick. I didn't think CA glue would, was gonna hold, but it did. And then at the end, I just popped the CA glue and we moved on. I was thinking, how do I attach them to, to the, the back, you know, in, in the front? And I was thinking about dominoes, but I ended up just thinking, okay, let's just do some screws and glue. That should be plenty strong. And then we'll just cap it with some dowels. So right here you see us, we already did one side. So in the back, I just added a ton of glue and then three screws and that was perfect. No complaints there. So you see here what I'm doing is I'm adding the dowels in those holes. This is a 3 8 dowels and I spray just a clear coat. I love how Alder looks with a water-based clear coat. And so I'm using General Finishes um, water-based coat. I forgot the name of it. And here you can see the assembly. So I have the, the two, you know, the, the back footer side, the header side, uh, the two bottom sides the two top stretchers and in that center support that's basically what the bed is and here we're adding some uh l brackets to the top now my son was really excited to have a, a bed and <laughs> full-on bed in his in his room and so as you can probably see from here we added some pockets to the sides just to align the the boards that expand across where the mattress lays and it's just easier that way they don't move if he jumps on it uh, it's gonna be pretty sturdy they won't move anyway so uh, this is basically the the build uh, as always as I get towards the end of a project I just want to finish and I forget that I should take more video and more pictures and all this stuff so uh, hopefully you can see that in the idea of the bed and and like I said this was my first bed I, I was very intimidated by it but it ended up being a good project that you know I think it will last for a while and here's some video footage some pictures from my phone uh so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video like subscribe and again thank you so much for subscribing and, and you know carrying me over the 1000 mark with that said i'll see you guys on the next one bye bye and put out yeah